Hi there, it's Ms. Novikowski coming to you from the studio at Grower Elementary in the Richmond School District. This is a short video to show you how to make a math scene. So for your math project, you can create a book, an ebook, a zine, a poster, or a video. Some of you may not know what a zine is, but a zine is, this is a, a math zine. Uh, this is on truchet tiles, and it's just using a single piece of paper and folding it and cutting it to make a little book. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. So to make a zine, you choose your topic, and your zine is just gonna be all about that topic. Each page will have either something to read or something to look at or something to do about that topic. So I fold my regular piece of paper in half, long way, I fold it again, in half this way, I just go over all my creases, and then I fold it in half into the middle. There's lots of different ways that you can fold this, but the idea is to get eight sections. So I've got four so far, so I'm gonna fold this other half up here. So now I've got a two by four array or eight sections. And I'm gonna turn it over where I've got sort of my mountain folds here. And think about, I need to always think about this, about where I'm gonna cut. So I've got four on this side, four on this side, and I'm just gonna start at the fold and I'm gonna cut from the fold down to that point there, not all the way through. Okay. So I'm creating a little flap there and then I open it up fold it in half longwise again, and then I see that little gap in the middle. I bring my pieces together. I've sort of got sections, my four pages here, and then I fold it up. And then I have a little book that has eight pages. Okay. So I'm just gonna write on here so we can see how this works out. So this is the front cover. This is the back cover. And then let's number the pages inside. One, two, three, four, five, six. So when I open this up, we can see how this is organized. So when we're drawing our zine, if we do it before we cut it, and if we want to draw it so that other people can print it and cut it out as well, we have our front cover in this spot, the back cover, pages one, two, three, four facing that way, and then pages five and six facing this way. So here's an example of a zine I found on the internet and printed out that teaches us what a tessellation is. So it gives a definition on the front cover and then examples of regular uh, tessellating shapes on the next pages. Then you can see how these are double pages here and more examples and then some ideas there and then the back cover and then the person who created this.